Today on Divided as One, it's Christmas time for Bruno and Mia, but will mittens eat all the flock? Will the post office be cooperative? Find out at an all new vlog! Hey guys, I think some of the comments in the last video encouraged us to put up a tree. I think this was a Walmart tree that we got when we moved in back in 2017. Jerry is doing some excellent supervising. I think there needs to be a train underneath the tree. How about you guys? Which Mia promptly knocked over. Mittens, that stupid cat, is already trying to eat the flock. Jerry just spucked the tree. There, beautiful. We woke up to a pretty little winter scene the next morning. The snow didn't last very long though. How about you guys? Anybody get any snow? Not happening. Ugh. Yeah, we're, we're not having such an easy time with our mailing project. We spent all day Friday trying to get these mailed out for our patrons, and we went to the same faraway post office because they were nice and helpful last time, and this time uh, we got Lady B instead of Lady A, and she wanted to know right away what is in the envelopes, and she just kept asking us questions until she determined that they were comic books, and she wouldn't send them. The reason for that, she says, is because comics contain ads. Are you guys reading these? Do you see any ads in here outside of, like, check out the upcoming issue? Because from what I'm seeing, this should qualify for media mail, but she wasn't having it. The quote that we got sort of far exceeded what we make on Patreon in a month. And, like, to send these overseas, like the overseas patron, overseas patron would have to be with us for like five or six months before before we, we made our first five dollars, I guess you could say. But in classic Bruno style, I will continue to be stubborn and decline offers to pay shipping. I do appreciate that, but we said that we were gonna send you guys free. We'll figure it out, we'll keep working on it. Post office number three, here we go. All right, I don't think this post office is happening either. We talked to FedEx at Walmart. Uh, we're gonna try UPS store, see what they say. Our UPS guy will send these media mail, but it's only a little bit less than the post office. So, a little bit of progress. We're gonna try again tomorrow. Thank you guys for being patient. Sorry it's taking so long. I have seen a couple suggestions in the comments. Hopefully we can find a solution that won't add a ton more work to what Mia's already done because this has kind of been the thing she's been working on for the past three weeks. Probably as much, if not more so, than on the actual animation for the channel. So hopefully we don't have to unpack and redo anything that's already been done. But all right, not that interesting. Back to Christmas. Now I know exactly what some of you guys are thinking right now. Bruno, if you're Jewish, then why in the world would you put up just one Christmas tree? Which I suppose would be a fair question, assuming I just had one Christmas tree. This room is a mess, when it should be Christmas-ish. We're gonna put up our food tree in the breakfast room. These are originals. We call this the food tree because it's all food ornaments. I just found our Dunkin' Donut snowman in another bucket. I forgot we had this. Now that's a delicious Christmas tree. Well, we certainly don't want to be one of those people that only put up two Christmas trees. So here's our decor store. Tree, hi Mochi. Hi Mooch. Maybe for this tree, we've got this nice 2017 new home key for Mia's mom. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, take a different jacket so I don't look like a comic book character. Yeah. <laughs> All right, ready, man? Yep. Here we go. <laughs> All right, here we go again. We're gonna try to finish our mailing. Wish us luck. Going to yet another post office this time. May the force be with us. <laughs> Try to keep these dry. <laughs> yes, save the day. Success. 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 She would have done it media mail, but she's like, it's cheaper to do it this way. Yeah, it really depends who you get. So what did we do? First class mail? Yeah. First class mail was like $1.60 instead of like two something. Well, so they were not... They were not counting these as rigid. The other post office was going to have us fill out the customs forms, this one, so they didn't have to do that. Our, our box is empty. Hooray! Well, that is a huge relief. Well, that was quite a learning experience for us. So, it was $1.60 average, $1.60, $1.75 for the last 50 that we sent out, minus the overseas, which were still reasonable. The one, the post office that we went to that originally did the media mail for us, and then wouldn't do it the second time, if we had sent everything out together at the same time with the second lady at the formerly good post office, it would have been somewhere in the neighborhood of $2,000 for everything. Is that insane? So the, the most recent post office that would have done media mail but said it would be cheaper to do, what did I say, first, first class? First class, yeah, first class mail. $1.60 to $1.75 was the average, and they didn't make us fill out the custom forms for overseas. It's, it's incredible how, depending on what post office you go to, you're going to get a different rate. And within the same post office, depending on which person you talk to. Like, that's so crazy to me. Even if we'd done, someone uh, recommended pirate ship, thank you, that's a good thing to know about. But I don't think we would have we done this well had we done this ourselves. Like, I'm glad we kept trying. And to anybody that thinks, like, we got away with something with uh, the media mail, because... I guess they're counting the comic book as, as not qualifying, but even though I, I maintain this doesn't have ads, a book would have been okay with the same check out other issues, but not a comic book because of ads that, that aren't there. Okay, anyway, but we paid two seventy five dollars on average versus $1.60 for first class mail, which could have been, so we still paid them an extra $70 for something that could have gone out for less. Anyway, and I'm, <laughs> we're both very happy to be finished with the post office. All of our patrons, you guys, if you didn't already get your thing, those went out. So, <laughs> now we know, I guess. I think. Mia wants a two for five. Hey, come on, lady, hurry it up. I want my frosty. Hey, come on. Hey, okay. <laughs> let's go. I went and got a table, and then Mia's behind me with the food. That was fast. I approve of Grape Sprite. Huh. Not a lot of love for Beast Morpher Lightning Collection figures. While we're out, there's a new donut place that we've never been to. I know, shame on us. Factory Donuts. They just opened here. So they're made to order. Look at that. That's pretty. Here's your Strawberry Factory's Rainbow, Blueberry Break, French Toast, Chocolate Coconut Dreams, S'mores, and Strawberry Lemonade. I don't know if you guys can see the trees, but it's like they're topped with uh, frost or something. It's very pretty. Last night as I was getting ready for bed, my phone started doing that emergency beeping thing. It was for snow. Seemed like it was coming down pretty good. I figured we were gonna have a lot of snow today, but when I woke up, there wasn't really much snow left. Still pretty though. Here, working on our Beast Morphers project. 
But she already had her you-know-what. It's Jerry. Here I am. Where have you been? I just went to Giant. And? And I got some food. Where? A Giant. Where is it? My backpack. Oh. Mia is making an Elio's Pizza Hot Pocket sandwich using waffles as the buns. Honey, I can't approve of this. Don't judge me. <laughs> Are you putting syrup on this too? No, that's just gross. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like Mia's mom sent us some good stuff to open for Christmas. I didn't film the whole box, but there are a lot of good, uh... Aren't those pretty? What are they, Mia? They're teeny little cakes. They're teeny little cakes. And then my aunt and the very nice man from Shout Factory sent us some Hanukkah stuff. I think Hanukkah is coming up pretty soon now. Hanukkah pasta! Yes. I think this is a stop motion thing. Well, look at that, Mia. Not all the presents under the tree are fake this year. <laughs> Most of these are, are just fake from our Christmas uh, display from however many MMPR toys giveaways ago. Oh, is this just styrofoam? Yeah. <laughs> Looks nice, though. Mm -hmm. All these in the front here, they're all fake. Were you eating the flock? Right this very minute, I just got another mail arrived at the UPS store notification. That's the third one since yesterday, or the day before. That worries me because I didn't order anything. It could be fan mail. I'm really hoping that it's not any of the things that we sent out coming back to us. It sounds like a lot of people have been getting them, but that's, of course, <laughs> a fear. So maybe we'll go do that. Even though we've been working on this Beast Morphers thing for a while, we're still trying to figure out what the video actually is. Do we post maybe just the Zord thing on, on like Monday or something and then keep working on it and do like a bigger thing once we're done with it? Because, you know, now, wow. Yeah, it's December 20th. So, you know, I don't know what's going to happen in January and it would be a shame if, if this just went into a black hole. I don't know. So, anyway, not interesting. I'm going to end here and go see what's at the UPS store for us. Whatever this is, I didn't order it. What could that be? I don't think I'm expecting anything. If that's from Hobby Link Japan, that would be incredible. But that, that's too soon. Nope, and I probably have to sign for it. I just ordered this. That's... that's yeah! That's incredible. I just checked the... I, I figured it would be like five or so... Oh, mittens. What's in this box? Find out next time in the next thrilling vlog! Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't, and good night.